Mm. All right, babe, let's get to the champagne part of our meal, right? Like, okay. this here, for us, is super special. Uh, we have some unbelievable filet mignon, right? We have some of this Alaskan King crab legs that are just like to die for. And then, got to keep it always a little healthy. We had a little bit, so we're going to make ourselves a little bit of uh, fresh sauteed chard. Okay. Yeah, rainbow chard. And we'll make some mashed potatoes that aren't so healthy. All right? <laughs> Since we got pretty good there. The Sounds pasta like was mix. delicious. Oh, right? it was so and good. And let's kind of get indulgent here and go for a delicious meal here. So I'm going to have you. Let's split up, though. I'm going okay. to have you kind of get into some of the cooking parts. All right? So I'm going to get these steaks rolling first. Here. Okay, what is this? Well, I got this. is rain, It's called rainbow chard. Rainbow right? chard. Sometimes you see it red. Sometimes you see it green. And it's all about the ribs right oh, here, right? Okay. So here's the different colors, the rainbow colors. We're going to clean this off just like this. All right? Yep. One swift. Yep. Or if not, the, you nailed it. Thank okay. you. Okay, so we're gonna put the, uh, the ribs here ribs and the greens here. Okay? okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start up my pan. I'm gonna get these fillets seasoned up and get them on. So we season liberally here, honey, right? Right? We season salt and pepper. You always say, Mark, so much. A lot of this falls off when we start to cook, right? And why do you put so much salt on Sp meat all the time? Really, really, the, uh, if you think about it, just on the outside, it's not gonna penetrate. We, we don't marinate it, it's not brine. Okay. We put it on top here, mm -hmm. it gets a nice, helps it sear really well. Gets a nice crispy crust and it tastes delicious. A lot yeah. of it falls off in the pan, but I have a nice pan set up right here. Okay. Cast iron, okay? I'm All right, so next in. up, we're we'll gonna get a little butter going in here. Okay. And really, just to keep it, it fresh. All right, yeah. right here. And that's one way to kind of control it. Yeah. I'm just adding just a little bit. Let's put our steaks right in, okay? You're just gonna go for it. Right, right inside. All right. All right. Okay, and I like to put my time on it. I won't put my time on it right now. I'm just watching it. All right, so just lay it in. Lay it in. Okay. Yeah. And why is this steak so buttery when yep. you eat it? Like, why does it taste like it's just so rich and? It's well, it's a non-weight bearing muscle on the inside of the cow, right? So the tenderloin is like the best of the best cut. Okay. So you start to move that there. I'm gonna crank that up. It's got all that marbling inside there, mm -hmm. but it's got no sinews really inside of it, and it's just a really great way to kind of. It's kind of the Cadillac of all steaks for everybody. Filet mignon is like. And the where best. is that? You said it's a non-weight bearing. So where so is that? If I'm uh, right, if I'm. If I pretended you were on all fours, right? Yeah. You have this under <laughs> yeah. here. Inside your rib, this is your rib cage. So mm -hmm. this is your belly on the ground mm -hmm. from an animal. Yeah. Up inside the rib cage is where the tenderloin lives. Oh, and all, okay. and that same makes thing sense. for chicken, same thing for all of us. It's a non weight bearing muscle. That's why it's so tender and delicious. Got it. So I have okay. that going. I am going to add this in here a little bit of rosemary. rosemary. Okay. Right and I'll come top. back and add a little more butter. But I'm going to let that yeah. kind of cook. One of the yeah. keys is we know is we don't kind of mess with it. We don't mess as we're starting to cook. Like, don't start picking at things and trying to touch it all the time. I have to learn, don't over kind of fuss over the food to a certain don't extent. Don't over fuss, you just yeah. set that Let in. Let it set and go, okay? okay? We have some potatoes here, we're gonna have mashed potatoes. We're gonna get ah, those going after that. that. Here, I'm gonna have you chop this up. Okay, okay? So, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Can you show me how to do yeah, it? Yeah, a little demo, okay? I like to kind of roll it up a little tight like this, okay. and it's gonna go along here. All right. Nice and thin. Okay. Yep, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey, okay. I think I got it. You got it. I'm going to get yeah. this. You stay, you start, keep cooking that. I'm going to get this pan fired up for us right here. All right. Now, babe, at the store, when I go in, yeah. um, I'm always so intimidated, like by chard or these other greens that I see, you know, I kind of stick to romaine or the things that you know, lettuce that I yeah. know. How would you, like, if I were to go in, how would I know? I mean, in my opinion, I think it's the most important thing is to, to try different things. Yeah. Never go, I never, we never go to the store usually with an idea of exactly what we want, right? We go right. in there and see what's looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, I'll do mm -hmm. a little bit more. Next up, though, I want you to hit is the stem. Oh, so the okay. the same side, right? Let's get the stem. Now, this is a little bit fancier. We cut mm -hmm. the stem. We're going to cook the stem first. So you want me to just chop it like chop the it celery? Chop it just like that. Yep, yep, okay. nice small pieces, okay? Like that? Nice job. I feel like my knife yeah. skills are getting pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah. Right, as long as you have all your fingers still, you're looking really <laughs> I good. I do. All right? I'm going to get, I have our pan going over here. I'm just going to get a little okay. oil going for us. Right. Okay. And you can put those Almost stems there. in the, let's, let's check them out. Let's check out your work, right? Is that okay? Yep. All, All those right. stems right into the pan. Okay. One swift. Okay. Put in there. All and right. you put, what put did you put in I put a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Put a little bit of olive oil in the pan, okay? Mm -hmm. That's starting to cook down. Okay. Now, our Z-line burners here, I'm going to switch these out. Okay. All right, it's gonna get, I have a nice sear going on this, and we really want to start to cook that a little bit faster. And on this, you just have a lower heat then, because that burner is... I have a, I have a lower heat on here. This is the small burner, which I yeah. love. 
because it keeps it nice and controlled. Mm -hmm. We don't need to cook this so fast. Okay. All right? And on this side here, we have the high burner going, which, yeah. right, that's the double inside burner right there, the mega right. burner, I like to call that bad boy. And that's kind of sauteing right sauteing there. Sauteing it, okay. Right. Let's put our okay. charred stems right on top here. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Kind of if you didn't up. put anything, just all oil. I've done nothing else now. Okay, but let's that's season easy it up. enough. Salt. Salt and pepper. Pepper. Okay. Swap sides. Salt okay. Here. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Pepper. And still, the steaks just sit there. The steak still steaks are just kind of roasting right Man, there. If you Again, I have my timer on it right okay. now. I'm in about. That's about four and a half minutes. Okay. Watch this. Okay. Let's see that right there. Watch. Oh, beautiful. Right. See that? Just now, gorgeous. it's kind of that you don't want to, I got a nice sear, mm -hmm. now push them off the side, yep. my rosemary's there, yep. and we're going to we're gonna keep on cooking that. It's going to go to another four minutes, that's going to be a perfect medium bread. Four minutes, four minutes. Yep. Over here, we're going to swap out again, okay? I'm going to come over, you're going to take our potatoes. Yep. And just put them yep. in there? There you are. Ah. You're going to get to use the ricer. Right? Okay. Okay, so, so what is this? That's a rice, that's a potato ricer, right? Okay. Or a rice, okay, right there. Boom. And just push yep. it. It's like Play Doh. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it reminds right? me of it's exact, childhood, right? Exactly that. Brings so back you're gonna, the nostalgia. You're gonna, you're gonna rice those potatoes? Okay. Work those guns. Okay. Work those, those guns. guns. I'm gonna move okay. this out of okay. our way. Okay. All right. All right. Our char is working over here. Our steak's working <laughs> over here. I am gonna get ready okay. with some butter. Okay, a little more butter. Okay. And cream. And that's gonna be for the potatoes. Great. Yes. So those are Yukon Gold. Mm -hmm. Left the skin on because why? Look at you push them out. Yeah. There goes the skin. You don't need to peel them. It's a, it's a oh, waste of time to peel them. That's easy. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little more butter here as I'm basting the steak down. Okay? okay. So let's get, we have those ready. You can bring the potatoes yep. back over okay. to the stove. Okay. And right here. I have some milk and butter heating up for us. Okay. All right. Let's swap oh, again. Okay. Okay. Deglaze. I know what that means. With balsamic vinegar. Just a nice yep. little swirl. Yeah. Woo! We're done. Look at that. Okay. Just done. Just like that. Just done. like that. Done. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna bring the potatoes over to you. You want to keep that going? Yeah. Oh, you're not done yet, honey. You're not done yet. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So those are gonna be cooking right here. Now, let's take a look at the only thing we're missing Got right it. here. Right? Is oh, the crab. It smells so all right? good. The crab's missing. Crab with the steak. With the okay. steak. All right? So come over here. I'm going to show you what we do with this. So these are like the creme de la creme. All right? These come in. We've got these from Sierra Gold here in Reno. I'm not even going to have to touch these at all. I'm just going to use this. If you needed sometimes, you can use, if you didn't have these, come, they're called shaved. Mm -hmm. It's Alaskan King Crab Claws. They come in shaved. Wow. If you didn't have them shaved like this, mm -hmm. watch, you'll see here. Out. We're gonna pull out this little bone right here. Watch. It's oh. only because you have eaten them enough, you'll know that it's there. Yeah. You could use scissors, right? These are, these are kitchen shears to cut to through the crab. Right through. This is a really simple way to do that. These have, these really have no nutritional value or flavor. We go from here. Okay. Now, just because we want to make a fancy dinner for us tonight, I have our two pieces of crab. Yeah. Right. And they're gonna come right over here. That's why I put so much extra butter right inside. Oh, okay. Just gorgeous. So, let's swap over here. Okay. Okay. And. Wow. Let's I'm get excited. Ready. All right, so over here we have our milk and butter kind of melting down. Okay. You're going to whisk up over there. I'm going to okay? whisk. And I'm going to add a little bit of milk and butter here. Okay. Now I heat, excuse me, heavy cream and butter. Heavy I cream. added that up. Right? I, I heated it up so okay. I'm not taking the temperature of the mashed potatoes down. Ah, okay. okay? Ooh, All right. So fancy. Okay. I'm just going to whisk oh, that nice delicious. and hard. All right. Okay. Boom, boom. Go Do you here. put salt and pepper or anything in your potatoes? We're going to season those just, up. We're going to yeah? season those up exactly. Okay. So as I see here, oops, that looks delicious. Right, a little piece of rosemary here. And I'm just finishing. I'm just finishing the crab in the okay. same pan. Oh wow! Okay, look that about. looks delicious. How are we looking there? You want a little bit more? Or we um, I think it's perfect. I think so. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just the right consistency. Turn that off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's okay. go a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I know how to do that. Yeah. Then you do a little taste. Okay. okay. Then we get us ready on this side over here. These back up. What are you getting ready over there? I'm going to get a little oh. spot for us to nice. play with there. Give that a taste. What do you think? Okay. Here we go. Oh my God. That's so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. So, yeah. 
Back here we have our so rich. balsamic chard, mm -hmm. our rich mashed potatoes, yep. our steak, mm -hmm. our crab, right? Everything's yeah. timed out and ready together. That's one of the things I know we talk about at home a lot is how's the timing okay. work? Yes, right? it's so always tricky. It's always a little bit tricky. Yeah. But you know okay. what makes it really fun? Working together. I can tell you how many times we've cooked here before, right? And then I'm kind of running around like a crazy man <laughs> trying to make it all work. You needed your sous chef. I needed my sous chef. <laughs> I needed my sous chef. Mm -hmm. Now you get to you get to kind of plate this any way any way you want. Okay. So, yep. Any way you want to do it. And I'm gonna bring over our final pieces here. Great. I'm get a towel to make sure I don't burn anything. Boom, 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 boom. It's kind of a lot of potatoes, but potatoes are right? delicious. Yes. I think this might be. One of my favorite meals we've ever cooked together. Right? Right here, yeah. right now? Right here, right now. I love it. I yeah. love it. Okay. So then okay. next up, you have your little, uh, your greens. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got one. one. Got one there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Suggestion on where to plate these at? It's your ball game, baby. It's your ball game. Perfect. All right? I love you that. You like it so it doesn't touch. All right. Go here. <laughs> Very good, yeah. Piece, filet, crab, oh. filet, Amazing. crab. Okay. Just beautiful. All right. Mm -hmm. I take a little bit of this pan juice right here over the top. This pan juice over the top. Okay. Pop, pop. Okay. Away. Looks amazing. Away. Sometimes, sometimes having it where we cook together each course, right? Sit down, yeah. enjoy, stand up, lean. <laughs> yes. Right? This is my favorite thing in the world. This is slowing down. I mean, that's pretty decadent right there. I'm so excited to try this, right? Yeah, well, That's I pretty decadent. I feel like life gets so busy and sometimes life get, life that gets it's really busy. nice to take a minute. Kids, jobs, oh, requirements, endless, all these things yeah. that go on. And then this has just been super fun to cook in this. Like, you did a great job on those. I cannot wait to taste. Yeah, I all can't right? wait to. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Oh, yeah. Just delicious. Super simple. I love that you use right. the whole stem right. of this chart. Mm -hmm. Oh, a balsamic glaze. Okay. Perfect. Then the steak and I'm going to take a bite of yours. Steak and lobster. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, steak and lobster. Steak and crab. Steak and crab. Yeah, let's cut one for you, one for me. Okay. That's how we do it at home. <laughs> yeah. We share. Um, my father-in-law always, right, dad always saying, share these, split these. Oh yeah. my God, he's like, Mark, we can you just get your own goddamn plate? And <laughs> yes. I'm like, no, that's how I do it. There's so. something about sharing a meal, literally there's, sharing a meal. There's something about sharing a meal. I eat a little bit less, hopefully. Oh, oh yeah. unbelievable, babe. Thank you so much. I would have been nervous to cook a filet. Right. But now Look it at, seems so simple. Four minutes, four minutes. Four minutes, four minutes. Perfectly done. You don't have it too hot so it burns mm -hmm. on the outside. I'll tell you, that's cooked perfectly. You did a great job. Great job. <laughs> now, right. what do you think about dessert? Yeah. And some more and wine. Let's have some more, more wine. wine. Right? And dessert, I'm really excited for. What do you have Great for dessert? Job. We're gonna do a little sauvignon with berries. Okay, I feel like that's a fancy word for something simple that I can make. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely.